Hi, and welcome to this uh, DigiPrint Supplies video on the ultrasonic uh, cleaning station for print heads. Um, the first thing we'll do after um, putting cleaning liquid into the container uh, is switching the device on on the back. If you switch it on on the back, it will switch on on the front as well. So you can switch it on and off using this power button, but you don't actually cut the current if you do it with the front power button. So we will set the temperature of the cleaning liquid that is in the container and the time for the ultrasonic waves to be active during cleaning. So we click the set button then we click time and with the minus and the plus buttons we can change the time. Go to two minutes, click time again and now the time is set to two minutes. We do the same for temperature, set this time we click temperature, we'll go down to 22 degrees, click it again and now the temperature of the cleaning liquid is set to 22 degrees. This information is not stored by the device, it doesn't have a memory. So each time you power it off and power it back on, default settings of 5 minutes and 26 degrees Celsius are set. Once at the time for the ultrasonic waves and the temperature is set. If you click time again, the ultrasonic will start. You can see the waves. It also brings down the bridge for the trace so that the print head touches the cleaning liquid and the ultrasonic waves start to work on the blocked nozzles. The two yellow buttons up and down, we can use them to move the bridge put the trace up, click it again to stop it, and down. So if we activate the ultrasonic, it will bring it down to the lowest point. You can intervene by immediately clicking the button up so it stops. When stopping the ultrasonic, it will bring the bridge and the tray and the head up so you can start flushing the head again or take it out uh, when you're done. The device has two independent circuits with two filters and pumps in the back and two buttons for that, pump 1 and pump 2. Pump 1 is a circuit on the right, pump 2 is a circuit on the left. So if it is in normal flushing position, meaning that both the levers are facing the, the blue flushing symbol and we switch on pump 1, you will see it starts flushing cleaning liquid through the circuit and out of the tube. Click it again to stop it. Same goes for the second circuit, which is pump two. And stop it. So, if we want to reverse the circuit and use reverse flushing on a print head, we need to switch both levers to the down position here and to the up position here. Of course this time I will have to leave the tube into the container because this tube which was actually flushing when both of the levers are in flushing position will now take up cleaning fluid and send it in the reverse order through um, the, cleaning so the clean sonic device. So you can see the water coming out here. Reverse flushing is something that is not advised, for instance, on uh, Epson print heads. You can use it on any Spectra or Psycho print head. Uh, I would avoid it on Epson and SAR print heads.